Hello, my name is Tyler Gonzalez, and I'm one of the 2020 MSRP interns this summer. I would like to share with you my research on ma the mathematical modeling of, of micrometeorites. I ended up working with a professor back at my home institution, because that's just how things worked out with the whole program being online and everything. Um, so yeah, let's dive right in. So the primary goal of this project is to develop a mathematical and phys physical model that will analyze the, the interplanetary passage of dust particles, these little tiny meteorites, um, so that we can kind of hopefully look at more of the physics and chemistry really is what we want to look at behind that. Um, they come in many different sizes and shapes. So micrometeorites can look very much like this, depending on you know how they fell through the earth, um, how hot they got when they were falling through the atmosphere, and things like that. Micrometeorites are very small. They're from 50 micrometers to two millimeters in size. Just for a more concrete visual, here's what a micrometeorite actually looks like if you're comparing it to, to someone's finger. So building a model requires uh, quite a few things that we need to take into account. We're first gonna discuss drag. And drag is a force which impedes the motion of an object through some medium. It could be the air, it could be water. In our case, it's the atmosphere. Uh, drag can also, there's different ways to kind of look at it, but we're going to assume quadratic drag. Um, very, so that is that the drag force varies quadratically with velocity. Our, our, dra our quadratic drag, notice this term here has a minus k, and this is a constant that depends on the drag coefficient, the cross-sectional area, and the atmospheric density. Notice though that the atmospheric density is not uniform. Right, that makes that kind of makes sense. Um, and it varies with height according to this equation, this negative exponential. So as we can see, as our altitude increases, the atmospheric density decreases. And if we look closer, if, if we have lesser altitude, then the atmospheric density is going to increase. So that needs to be taken into account into our model in order for it to be correct as well. Why are these particles falling to begin with? We also need to take into account gravity, right? Gravity is a huge, important part of, of physics and, and our, in our lives, so we need to incorporate that as one of our um, force components. Gravity is written as G in physics, and this has to be taken into account. So putting this all together, we get the following differential equation. Uh, M dV dt, which we can write as M V dV dz, because we want to look at something we're, for our model, we want to look at, um, we would like to find an expression for the velocity in, at any height. So that's what we would like to solve this from differential equation here. We have our quadratic drag term, and we also have our gravity term and some initial condition. So now we have a suitable differential equation. We can kind of look at some, some computational software and, and solve it. So using Mathematica's desolve command, we can plot solutions to this differential equation. We're using some various parameters here. We're looking at um, different diameters for micrometeorites. So um, here we have one with diameter 10 to the minus two meters, 10 to the minus three meters, and 10 to the minus four meters. I would like to point out here on this slide that notice that as our altitude decreases, as we're getting closer and closer to the earth, the speeds of these drastically uh, decrease. They undergo the greatest acceleration at the points where they had the, the greatest speed or velocity, right? So um, here we could see, or as, I shouldn't say greatest speed, I should say the biggest rate of change of speed. Um, so that would be right here, the biggest slope. It's the derivative stuff going on there. So what do we want to do in the future? This is a great first step. We have a model that analyzes um, two forces on a micrometeorite, drag and gravity. We need to also take into account other things. These particles are getting very hot when they fall. Um, so what we want to do is we want to look at, a, and they also ablate uh, because of that and deform. So we want to model that. This is a more complicated process. So we're actually currently working in, in Python for, for some reasons to look at those, um, to develop a, a more advanced model. So this is some of the preliminary work that we're doing. And, and a lot of the data that we'll get later on, I'll, I can absolutely share with you all. I would like to thank my advisor, Dr. Thomas, and also everyone who organized MSRP this summer. It's been a wonderful experience.